Hey what is up guys this is FNH here and today I want to show you guys a quick tutorial on how to make a keyboard shortcut for any program on your computer okay so what I mean by that is basically set you know pressing a certain set of keys together to automatically start a program okay it's really easy and simple um, so all you have to do is basically let's say for example I want to run Spotify when I press a certain some specific keys okay so all you have to do is right click the application right so just if you don't have it on the desktop um, you guys can create a shortcut to it from you know wherever it is you know um, so for example let's say so if you can you can do create shortcut over here and then you know copy paste it to your desktop right or you can do send to uh, and you can do desktop create shortcut same thing all right so so what you want to do is once you have the shortcut on the desktop you want to press properties and you will see this option over here shortcut key and it says it's set to none right now and you know all you uh, you have to do is click inside this text box and press a button okay so you can see I pressed F so by default they always put control and alt beforehand um, and then whatever you press afterwards um, it's that letter or number um, it, it's slightly different if you press the numpad so you can press you know just use that which is pretty cool but you know if you actually use the numpad for typing numbers which I do uh, it might you know be a pretty annoying and it might you know execute commands when you don't want to so let's just keep it to let's I press one the number one on top okay so control alt one um, a great way to do it is just have it one two three four five six you know wh whatever um, shortcuts you want to add to each number so that's an easy way to keep it organized and for you to remember alright so I'll press apply press OK so you can see Spotify is over here and on my keyboard I'm going to press control alt 1 alright and there you have it you can see that it started up you know pretty quick but basically the same exact way it's supposed to start up alright so yeah you can do that set it to any application you want to I'm not sure if you can set it to like specific files um, you probably can't do that and you can't do it on folders either uh, it's more of actual applications so let's say this Kindle create right you can see over here so basically if it's an exe file you can uh, execute that Alright, so yeah, that's basically it. Really easy, simple. You know, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. You know, I'd love to help you guys out. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Other than that, FNH out. Peace.